Now, just days after appointing his new government, Russian President Vladimir Putin has landed Beijing on a two-day state visit to China. Well, this is Putin's first foreign trip since his re-election in March and the second visit to China in just over six months, indicating China's strategic significance for Russia amid Western sanctions it is facing over its military offensive in Ukraine. With this visit, Putin is sending a message to the world about his priorities and his personal bond with Xi Jinping a relationship that the leaders described in 2022 as one of no limits. The Russian president is expected to see greater support from Beijing in his meeting with counterpart Xi Jinping for his war effort in Ukraine and his economy. Kremlin said that two leaders will hold informal talks over tea this evening to discuss Ukraine, Asia, energy and trade. Putin's newly appointed Defence Minister Andrei Belosov, as well as Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov, Security Council Secretary Sergei Shoigu and Foreign Policy Advisor Yuri Ushakov will also attend along with Russia's most powerful CEOs. The two leaders are set to sign a joint declaration following the talks. China has strengthened its trade and military ties with Russia in recent years as the United States and its allies impose sanctions against both countries. According to Chinese figures, China-Russia trade has boomed since the Ukraine invasion and hit $240 billion in 2023. In an interview published in Xinhua ahead of his visit, Putin hailed Beijing's genuine desire to help resolve the Ukraine crisis. Seventy-one year old Putin and seventy year old Xi Jinping will take part in a gala evening celebrating seventy-five years since the Soviet Union recognized the People's Republic of China, which was declared by Mao Zedong in 1949. Putin will also visit Harbin in northeastern China, a city with strong ties to Russia.